So we got the next video in our top 10 list. It's actually not a top 10. It's the top six point guards, traditional point guards in NBA 2K20, my team. And guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw one card on here and, and say this is what I decided to do is I decided to get to D-Wade and I'll, I'll show you after the video. Um, I sold back to 150 cards and uh, yeah, man, I like this D-Wade. This is the D-Wade Galaxy Opal, obviously. Uh, He's got the Pro 3 Hezzy. He like my new camera angle, bro. I've just been rocking with some different camera angles. Kind of cool, man. This game was actually built um, on the broadcast camera angle. And I can tell you, man, it's so much easier to do like a crossover behind the back if you're using... Uh, let, me, let me just show you here. Using the... Broad, where is it? Broadcast. There, yeah, check this out, dude. It's so easy to do like crossover behind the back on this camera angle just freaking yeah easy shit but uh yeah anyway i've been messing around with uh some different cameras i'll try the swivel camera oh this thing looks nasty bro yeah i don't like that the goal sideways yeah that's weird d-wade though uh I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna conclude him on this list uh hey give me number one here and we're going to go backwards this time. Most people start with 10 and go back. We're going to go back from 1 to 6, though. And uh, you can consider D-Wade a traditional point guard. I'm just going to say basically any point guard's under 6'6". Six, six. Um, not going to include the Giants. Fuck the Giants, man. Just not into it this year, man. I, I, play, I, I was excited about my team for position locks. And these glitched cards, man, they are what they are. They just, you know, and I hate to say it, too, because, you know, I, I like the guys over my team, but... Uh, yeah, it's uh, a way for them to make a little bit more money off of cards that, uh, well, that they lock the position on the rest of them. And it kind of sucks because, you know, we don't get to choose which cards we do. But, you know, I've had a little bit of change of heart on my deal here. And I'm going to put Lonzo Ball, actually, in here at number six. And uh, that's just because, man, I got a lot of, got to play with uh, dribble, play with whatever you want to call it, with uh, all deer and fox a little bit more and see he's actually pretty damn good um i like this player a lot camera fun camera to use uh i'm gonna play some games using these hopefully while i'm home with everybody maybe i'll get to play some uh, don't really know but yeah right now we got lonzo ball in at number six <laughs> number one was d wade obviously but i'm gonna count it back from six to two now uh, yeah, Lonzo Ball, number six. Lonzo, uh, you see here, Lonzo's got 12 finishing, seven shooting badges, 13 playmaking, and 13 defensive and rebounding badges. Uh, the playmaking is really where he stands out here. The break starter, the dimer, flashy passer, floor general, quick first step, unpluckable. And he does have, does he, have he does not have handles for days, man. I swear to God, they'd be adding and taking away badges from these cards. Lonzo Ball doesn't have handles for days. Okay, well, that's why you move down to number six, Lonzo. At number um, five, we got this the Aaron Fox here. Aaron Fox, if you like left-handed cards, like, bro, bro, this is your card. Easy dribble god, faux show. I need to get some shoe on him. I got this three-point ball control close shot shoe on him right now. Um, but, yeah, you can see here, De'Aaron. Y'all want to see something cool here, man? Let me show y'all something. Like, I, I mean, y'all might not think I'm a dribble god. And uh, y'all might think I'm old and shit. But, you know, y'all watch Steezo. Everybody plays 2K, he watched Steezo, right? Let me show you how to do this Steezo roll here. Oh, yeah. See, I, I can do the Steezo roll in my team. Yeah, baby. I got the Steezo roll down. You can do the Steezo roll on my team with pretty much any card that has... Um, well, they just need to have a nice behind the back to come out of that. But, like, the main thing is, is, like, the... Uh, what's it called? The counter to the Steezo roll, where you actually... Uh, so you're gonna go here. Uh, let's get it going. Just do the roll. Yeah, and you could come out of it and shoot instead of doing that. But yeah, pretty much every car can do that. But Darren Fox, one of my favorites. Um, if you like Pistol P, if you like D Wade, if you like uh, those guys, Pro, Pro Three Hezzy. So you could dribble out of it, and go straight to the basket. Is made for elite slashing uh this pro 3 hezzy is 
And uh, yeah, dude, De'Aaron Fox, I feel like, is the fastest card going to the rim in the game. Bro, he's faster than D-Wade. He is faster than Galaxy Opal D-Wade going to the rim. Dude, this card is freaking fast. Let me show you. Next up. Now let me just see here. You got Acrobat. Look, he has 11 finishing badges, all in Hall of Fame, except for the two that boost. Uh, so his nine finishing badges are all Hall of Fame. The two that boost takeover are on gold. Like, dude, legit slasher in uh, this game. Three Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, devil shots, and green machine. Uh, not only eight shooting badges, but like, dude, yeah, he's got Hall of Fame medals for days. Like, this is a card that you could seriously just, you could just seize a roll with him in game. Yeah, just get with it, son. Yeah, so, yeah, Deer Fox definitely uh, growing on me. You know what? It, if shooting wasn't so damn important in this game, he might actually move up. At number three, I'm actually going to put Derek Rose. Uh, oh, wait, it's going to be number four. Sorry, number four here, Derek Rose, Galaxy Opal. And you know what? This guy is on the top of everybody's list. But for some reason for me, like, his shot just does not green as much as Russell Westbrook's does. And uh, in-game, it doesn't go in as much. But, dude, I don't know, man. He's kind of... Him and Russell Westbrook and Pete are all kind of on the level um, of the same here. You got Galaxy Oval D. Rose. I mean, dude... Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... So, D-Rose, or yeah, Galaxy Opal D-Rose, let's see. Let's see if he has the color crossover. Woo, woo, whoa, whoa, slow down, D-Rose. Where are you going? So, color crossover. I don't think he does, man. I don't think Galaxy Opal D-Rose can do a color cross. Jesus Christ. You can do that. That one's nice, but like, dude, everybody can do that. But Galaxy Opal D Rose coming in as my number four point guard. Number three, and I have to go with Galaxy or uh, oh yeah, Ping Diamond Pistol P. Ping Diamond Pistol P here. And and dude, you can seriously. I mean, you can put Russ or Steph Curry in here and around D Rose or Pistol P somewhere in this range. Uh, but Pistol Pete, dude, the reason I got him over D Rose is why you're seeing right here, dude. There is no replacement for being able to green shots like this dude can. And and yeah, dude. I mean, he also has elite dribble moves. He's got like elite behind the back. I mean, he has look, he has the Jimmy Butler step back, which is the like that step back right there that has this just all you're doing is holding down turbo, pressing down on the right joystick is the most elite step back because you can attack out of it you can shoot out of it do everything and yeah he's the best at it um maravich 16 playmaking badges only has gold handles for days god i wish you just they just give all fame to these dudes man all these dudes deserve all fame he has all fame clamps and pickpocket as well he doesn't have intimidator and so that's you know kind of why i don't have him uh ranked all the way to the top but he is six five so it makes up for it What's up, buddy? So, yeah, I think I messed up my uh, numbers here. But next up on the list, dude, I meant to put John Wall in there on the other side of Pete Maravich. But, yeah, we got John Wall here. John Wall, as uh, I, I would say he is a step behind Pete Maravich, man. Maybe it just, I mean, gold dimer, gold range extender. Uh, yeah, it just it, he just isn't as high up there for me. And dude, he might be he might be behind Darren Fox, man. Like, he's an elite shooter though, man. His his release is so damn good. Like, and, you know, I don't know if it's better than Darren Fox's. I haven't got enough game time with either one of them. But I really like this John Wall. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, as far as game time goes, I haven't played but one game on Pistol Pete. But yeah, that dude is <laughs> that dude is just nasty. You just tell. Uh, just by the one game I played with him, I had like nine points in the first quarter. Him and Dr. J were, were like going down the court, just screaming. We had, had 32 points in the first quarter, and Dr. J and him both had like nine to 11 points, something crazy like that. 
Uh, and then the rest of them were just spread out. Kareem had some, and then I sold Kareem because, yeah, obviously. No reason to have that card, man. Like, right now, seriously, what are we playing for? Uh, Kareem, not 500K Kareem cards that go down from 600K to 400K, like, in one day. Yeah, we're not playing with those cards. Th those are ridiculous to even have. Uh, yeah, Steph Curry, kind of dumb. But, you know, if you pull one, fine. Hang on to it. Play with it for a while. But, like, bro, these cards right here, where it's at, it is the sweet spot of the game. Um, you know, you can beat God squads. You can... You, you can, uh, you know, run up against budget squads and have a nice little, you know, go off day. And, and it also, you know, have MT for, you know, to buy cards. This is your favorite card comes out, you know, top tier card of your favorite player comes out this year. Because uh, that'll all be happening here pretty soon with the uh, NBA season suspended for now. Maybe canceled for good uh, for too much longer. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, John Wall uh, in at number Three or four in there, right along the lines of him. And he has 13 finishing badges. Uh, kind of, I mean, yeah, he, so, something tells me maybe we get a, a, a Galaxy Opal John Wall just because, like, dude, of all people that don't have th these badges on Hall of Fame, I would think John Wall would, and he doesn't. Uh, he's only got three Hall of Fame shooting badges, which isn't a big deal, but. And then, you know, Dime. What are you talking about, buddy? Uh, what else? Oh, is T-Rex about to come over there and get him? No, no, no. Okay. All right. We got... Does he have... Do, he doesn't have Intimidator. John Wall does not have Intimidator. Okay. All right. Turn it. So, yeah, John Wall goes there. And then... Uh, I like this card too, and I, I don't really know what to say about this guy. Uh, he just kind of got written off by most people, but let, let's look at him right now, because, I mean, dude, Shake Milton, another one of those cards that has uh, one of the better releases in the game and is able to just green on demand. Like, dude, I mean, why, why haven't we heard more about this card? Uh, and it's because it's Shake Milton. Like, dude, yeah. his name is... Like, you know, means nothing to hardly anyone unless you are a diehard Philadelphia 76ers fan and you know about this guy and you, you've been thinking like he's the next big thing or something. Uh, but Which I don't even know if that's the case or, you know, if he just had a big night on a, you know, coming in once in a lifetime deal. I don't know much about him myself, but I do know that in this game, he has elite dribble packages, size up package, all that good stuff. I mean, you can see here. He's got this Russell Westbrook Hezzy. The also, if you if you follow my channel and you watch all my videos, you know this is the Miles Bridges Hezzy. That is the easiest one to shoot threes out of uh, because, well. Basically, it goes right along with Hall of Fame Limitless, and this dude actually has Hall of Fame Limitless. It actually, the, the Hezzy, when you hit right on the up stick when you're pressing on turbo, it steps you back as well, too, so you get into shooting position. Uh, let's take a look at his crossover behind the back. Pretty nice. Shoot off the drib. Very good. Yeah, so this Shake Milton is nice. He's six foot five too. Uh, probably not a lot of people know about him. Like, I mean, obviously I've gotten way into more cards than I said I was going to, but I, I just totally forgot about some of these cards. So nine finishing badges. He has Slithery and Fancy on Hall of Fame. Like, I don't know which ones are the best of these. Like, it's hard to tell. Uh, Thirteen shooting badges. Every single one of them. Oh no, every single. I was like, every single one of them is on Hall of Fame. But he has catch and shoot, different shot, flexible release, green machine, hot start, range extender, slippery off ball. Uh, yeah, and then he has clutch, dead eye, hot zone hunter, and quick draw. Like, that's a bit of freaking one of the best shooters in the game up until about like a month ago. Uh, downhill, floor general, lob city, quick first step, unpluckable, ankle breaker, bailout. He doesn't have handle for days. He has dimer. Like, dude, like this card is, is nice. He's nice. He doesn't have. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have. Uh, Intimidator either. He only has seven badges 
on defense, but I mean, he's got, he's good. He's really good. So like, I mean, I don't have any problem saying this car is amazing. Look, A plus ratings everywhere, except for rebounding plus defense. Yeah, but that's the top. 98 three ball. He's got 73 driving dunk, which let's check out his driving dunk after we look through some of these other stats here. Uh, perimeter defense of 90, pick and roll 57, ouch. Help defense 90. I don't even know if pick and roll defense matters because you're controlling that shit anyway. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's got some low ratings. His 32 block is pretty freaking bad. 92 lateral quickness, shot contest of 70. Speed ball is 95 though, 88 vertical. So, yeah, look, let's look at this card, like, and see if he can actually dunk. 73. Yeah, he's got a nice dunk package. I mean, like, he, he's not, it's not terrible. Like, it's not just basic. So, that's good. I mean, he can dunk. He's going to dunk, but. Yeah, so, that's pretty much the list. Except for the last two cards here. And. I'm a, I decided to include Steph Curry in this list, and you know my numbers were all jacked up on the beginning of the list, so I apologize for that. But I had to go in here, and you know what? I might buy the Steph Curry. No, I'm not buying Steph Curry. Sorry, I'm not gonna buy Steph Curry. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. But if he was cheaper, I would definitely have done it. Uh, but yeah, he's still expensive. That's why I don't rank him as high. But 39 Hall of Fame badges, bro. I mean, like, he does, he he has, like, the game. You, know, you know they gave his card Intimidator, probably. And it's on, I guess it's on gold. But he has Hall of Fame clamps. Dude, yeah, the Steph Curry is a nice card. Don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. But, like, way overpriced. Um, let's go back in here real quick. And the, the who I think is the best uh, point guard, obviously, uh, traditional best traditional point guard is Russell Westbrook uh, and obviously I don't I don't necessarily think that he's better than D Wade uh, but as far as like from a man from a, just everything standpoint like D, D Wade is great but like late with it Late with it. Late. Oh, slightly early. There we go. Green machine. Green machine. Green machine. Yeah. Yeah. D. D. Wade's release is nice with the meter off. With the meter on, dude. D. Wade's release is not as good uh, as Russell Westbrook's. But I mean, it, these are my top two point guards right now. It's D. Wade and Russell Westbrook. And D. Wade. I'm, this, I mean, this is just because, like, uh, I mean, Westbrook, dude, I, I won, like, 27 games in a row or something last month with him as my point guard. Uh, I used Lonzo Ball uh, this month for most of my games because I kept, well, I kept matching up Westbrook versus Westbrook, and I ran into some dude when I was, like, 8-0 one time, uh, the first time I tried to go 12-0 this month, and uh, ran into him. And uh, he was better with his Westbrook than I was, or at least that game. And I uh, lost by like 15 points. And uh, yeah, dude dropped a freaking nice little 35 point performance from his Westbrook. And uh, yeah, dude, so I just stopped using Westbrook because I was tired of running into Westbrooks because like he is still to me the best point guard in the game. And I, I mean, you could think whatever you want, but dude, I mean, Westbrook is. Like the easiest green card to green with, and I know I'm shooting the meter off here. I just want to see if he's just as good with the meter off, and I think he is. Like, like bro, I mean, like, dude, you come down the court, and you can seriously just walk up to the fucking talons on this raptor, and just splash greens with them all day long, dude. Nobody's even guarding you from this position. Like, you can put on freaking uh, the smother coverage on on ball, and like, dude. You don't. The guy's not even guarding you at that point. Like he won't guard you from here. Like you just, dude. It is so bad because I played so many off ballers that like, you know, go watch these settings videos, and it's like, dude, hey, I'm, I got Westbrook here. I know I'm not in your freaking zone for it to kick off for you to start guarding me because I'm just barely past half court. But guess what? I'm going to pull the trigger on your ass right here and right now, and and 
yeah, that's just what you can do. And then if they do want to come out here and guard you all the way out here, guess what? Dude, ain't no Hall of Fame clamps even holding you that far away from the basket. Plus, you can send other people. You have other guys coming on cuts, and Russell Westbrook is very good at throwing lobs. So, yeah, I mean, like, that's why I think he kind of still might be the best point guard in the game. D. Rose is great, uh, but, like, he doesn't green like he does. Maravich, if he could dunk, it's better. More people would probably think he was, but, like, this D. Wade, like, I, I, I'm thinking if I start playing with the meter off again that D. Wade might have a chance to be uh, the best point guard in the game because with the meter off, I think he might be just as good as Westbrook, but... His release is just so fast, bro. You just have to get you guys have to get the timing down with his D Wade, and that's something that I don't have down yet because uh, I've just gotten him. And dude, I've played seriously one game, two games of unlimited with him, and uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna turn the meter back on right now because obviously I haven't been playing enough to, to do it. But like you see, like I, I say, I haven't been playing enough to to do it with the meter off. But with Westbrook, dude, it doesn't matter, dude. He's just such a green bean machine that, like, dude, he greens every freaking thing. Like, it, it doesn't matter how much you've been playing the game. Because, obviously, shot timing is, like, one of the things that is going to set you apart in this game is, like, whoever greens the most shots, obviously, is going to have the best chance of winning. I don't know if you all watched that freaking Troy Dan video the other day where he played with Galaxy of Giannis, but he dropped, like, all these points with Kirilenko and T-Mac. It was because he had the meter off and he greened every shot because he had the timing down with those dudes. And, uh, yeah, that's the most important thing is finding cards that you can green with. And, and for me, these are the best point guards in the game. I, I like Ben Simmons a lot this year, so don't get me wrong, he's good. LeBron James was the best small forward that I used all year, uh, but he just went for too much MT at the time. I think it sold him for like 390K. And uh, Giannis is just, dude, it's, that, that, that is ridiculous to pay 700k to a million for a card. But anyway, that's the video for today. These are the best traditional point guards of my team. It's Carson Cruz. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Peace.